finalized uh, that underway uh, within the next 10 minutes. We do have uh, communications uh, uh, settled uh, in the hardline connection between International Space Station and Dragon. You can see from the inside of Dragon now, the crew uh, doffed or took off their suits. Uh, just getting a few things packed up before they eventually open up the hatch after that uh, pressurization is equalized between Space Station and Dragon. Endeavor, it's Houston calling for a voice check over the big loop. We've retransitioned back to RF, so back to uh, RF. How do you hear us? Houston Dragon on the Houston Dragon on a big loop. Uh, was that a comm check for us? Yeah, a affirmative uh, endeavor. It's Houston. We transitioned back to RF uh, because we still had the interference over hardline. So we're back on RF now and just want to make sure we had you. We've got you loud and clear on RF. Loud and clear as well, we're just going to leave it here for now, thank you. Here's a live look from inside the crew, Dragon. You're seeing Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley uh, just preparing the inside of Dragon. They have doffed or taken off their suits. The pressurization between Space Station and Dragon is complete. Uh, they just need to perform some leak checks, make sure that uh, pressure is stable before they actually open the hatch. Teams working together on the ground, International Space Station Flight Control Room and the Flight Control Room in Hawthorne to get that big loop communication uh, configured so everyone can hear each other through this process, figure it out a workaround uh, using RF connection.
This is Mission Control Houston. If you're just joining us, you're getting a look inside the Crew Dragon. That was Bob Bankhead seated uh, on the right side, the pilot seat or the Joint Operations Mission Commander seat for uh, Demo 2. He and uh, Doug Hurley, the commander of the spacecraft, just preparing the uh, uh, inside, putting away some trash. They just doffed their suits and right now just waiting. Uh, for the uh, pressure to equalize between the International Space Station and uh, Bob and Doug. Just two hatches really separating them from the inside of the orbiting complex. Aboard International Space Station, Commander Chris Cassidy has been outfitting uh, Node 2. It's the first node. Uh, once you cross over some of the hatchways, there it is. You can see some of the cameras positioned uh, around to capture uh, the crew coming in to the International Space Station. Much of that work completed at this point. Really at this point just waiting for good leak checks uh, between uh, Station and Dragon. Three bottles removed from bag 203. Good read back from location 10. We removed bottles from each of bag 207, 208, so six water bottles in total. And Dragon SpaceX, you were pretty broken on that call, but I think I copied three bottles from each bag. 207 and 208, is that correct? That is a good read back, Anna. I copy. Okay. For location 11, one dinner from bag 317, one breakfast from bag 315, and one lunch from bag 316. Yeah, uh, there are several. Um, I copy one dinner from 317, uh, one breakfast from 315, and one lunch from 316. Uh, everything I, that was taken has been sent down. That's a good read back. 
and location 12, one dinner from bag 321, one breakfast from bag 319, and one lunch from bag 320. I copy one dinner from 321, one breakfast from 319, one lunch from 310. And I, am I correct to conclude all of this includes your consumption from the lunch that you just completed? That's uh, correct, Anna. We've uh, finished eating, and the lunch we just completed uh, is a good uh, complete list of, uh, of what I've read down to you so far. Um, the only thing we have remaining is the uh, flush of the waste uh, system here, and uh, we'll do that with a water bottle and report uh, when we do that uh, a little bit later. Copy. That sounds like a perfect plan. Thank you so much. Okay, with that, that's the extent of our inventory. All else is per the packing plan. Copy all else from per the packing plan. This is Mission Control Houston. You've seen Chris Cassidy, International Space Station Commander, do much of the setup, but he does have two crew members on board, both Russian cosmonauts. Next to him right now is Ivan Wagner, a rookie space flyer that was uh, on the same Soyuz spacecraft that uh, Chris Cassidy launched on from the Baikonur Cosmodrome just a little more than a month ago. Also on board is uh, Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin.
This is Mission Control Houston. We are coming up on almost two hours since uh, the Crew Dragon made contact and was captured by the uh, at the International Space Station's forward uh, international docking adapter. That happened at 9.16 a.m. Central, 10.16 a.m. Eastern. Still working through some of those milestones, uh, equalizing the pressure between uh, Dragon and International Space Station, verifying some of the communications, and of course you see uh, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley inside, continuing to prepare the inside of their vessel uh, before they make their way inside uh, the orbiting complex. SpaceX Dragon on uh, Dragon to ground. Uh, do you mind taking the cameras down for just a few minutes here? We will put that in work and let you know when it's done. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you heard the call from Bob Bankin, Joint Operations Mission Commander of uh, the Demo 2 mission, taking down some of those video fees. We're still waiting uh, for some of those milestones to pass before actually opening the hatch. The Dragon crew continuing to uh, get themselves ready before opening the hatch. Chris Cassidy on the other side, just preparing uh, some of the camera views, making sure everything's set there, done even a little bit ahead of time. We do have confirmation that there is a good data connection path between uh, Dragon and the International Space Station. Some of those checks underway next. Coming up on uh, two hours since docking at 9.16 a.m. Central, 10.16 a.m. Eastern. Space Station on three. Uh the SSC has been rebooted. Any success? Hey Chris, we see good connection between the SSC and the camera, and we're just performing the calibration now. We'll start recording shortly. Thanks for your help. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help. Dragon SpaceX, we have gone exterior with the cameras. Happy, thanks.
This is Mission Control Houston. Again, you're getting a look at the inside of the International Space Station. That's uh, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy, commander of Expedition 63. Continuing to get some of those uh, cameras configured for hatch opening. Many milestones already passed uh, after docking at 9.16 a.m. Central, uh, almost two hours ago at this point. At the time of docking, uh, the International Space Station was on uh, Russian thrusters. At the after contact and capture was moved over to control moment gyro uh, stabilization and attitude control. Now back to its standard configuration of thrusters and uh, control moment gyros. After an umbilical connecting uh, Dragon to the International Space Station was established, we did get confirmation of good power uh, flowing from the International Space Station to Dragon. Dragon now relying on station power. We did get confirmation of, uh, of good uh, data transmission. And of course, uh, the teams here on the ground, both here in Houston and in Hawthorne, troubleshooting some of the communication to make sure that is ready to go prior to hatch opening. Pressurization uh, between International Space Station and Dragon brought up to uh, the same pressure, 14.7, the same we would uh, find here on Earth. Leak checks are next to uh, confirm the con the uh, pressure sta is stabilized between the two vehicles. You see the hatch uh, just on the other side of Chris Cassidy there. That's the hatch to the pressurized mating adapter. There's two more hatches. Uh, once you go down that hatchway, one is to the international docking adapter, and the other is the hatch of Dragon itself.
SpaceX Dragon uh, with a couple of questions. I am here and ready to copy. Hey, Anna. Um, we show about an hour and 11 minutes since we started drying the suits, just to let you know that. And then the uh, other thing is we can put 4.400 uh, Section 2 in work if you think we have some time before uh, we get the hatch open. We copy. You are go to stop drying your suits and turn off that suit fan at this time. Let me get you words on that waste system plush. Copy. Uh, we'll shut the uh, suit fan off now. In Dragon SpaceX, we are about a half hour prior to hatch open, so you are go to do that waste system plush if that sounds good to you at this time.